managing the zero DTs. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's take a look at an update to managing winners. Managing winners early to lock in profits is the bedrock of the Tasty methodology. For 45 DT trades, we typically use a target of 50%. Actually, as our research has shown, we typically use a target of 21 days to expiration. That is even better than 50% of the initial credit. Sure. But for zero DT, zero DT trades, we have to reevaluate our parameters, and there's no such thing as 21 DTE. So with zero DTE trades, are we managing at a certain time? Are we managing at a certain profit? Time, for sure, we're not holding them past midday. Yeah, we... Certain profits, early results from our first group of studies suggested that managing zero DT trades, managing zero DT trades at 25 to 35% of max profits performed best. But now that we have more data to work with, it's time to revisit this. Is 25 to 35%, you think it's still in the wheelhouse, bad, or did things get better? I think it's got to still be in the wheelhouse. That's my guess. Let's go to the next slide. Bat says that's still the wheelhouse. We'll see. Using 52 weeks of data, we basically went through everything. We considered selling straddles and strangles at 10 and $20 out of the money. Straddles are at the money, strangles 10 and 20 bucks out of the money. We examined the results closing at 15%, 25%, 35%, and 50%. Just for the, for the record, to set the record straight, even though we haven't done a zero DT in a couple of days, we tend to, to try to manage between 15 and let's call it 25%. That's where we usually are. As well as holding through expiration, we, held, we looked at those as well. All trades were assumed to close at mid price, which is a little bit unfair. So you have to take another nickel off or something like that. Losers were held through expiration. The cost of the buying power controlling the long strikes was neglected. So again, if you're going to buy long strikes to reduce your buying power exposure, you're going to have to take a little bit more money off these. Mm -hmm. Okay? But we're letting you know that up front. And you said not fair when you said mid-price because you got to give up a little bit to mid-price typically to get filled. That's why I said that. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying why you said it. Oh, okay. You just got said it. I'm going to take a nickel off. First of all, for straddles. And, and these are all the same kind of layout. So if you don't manage, you get you 50%, 50-50. But the average penal is a loser. That's bad. Straddles, no management, no worky. If you're going to do straddles, you're going to close them at 25%. All right? That's it. Because your average PL is what matters here, and your average PL is 100 bucks. Your CVAR, which is kind of your outlier risk, is almost the lowest. Same. It's almost the same across the board. And your percent profits on straddles is almost 80%. If you want it to go up to 15% on straddles, I'd have no issue with that. Lower CVAR, slightly lower PL, but a higher win rate. I, I could easily see doing 15, 20, or 25% with straddles. No argument there. $10 out of the money strangle. Um, again, you'd probably don't want to do you don't want to do no management and you don't want to do closing at 45 percent just waiting too long this is a seven dollars i don't even wake up in the morning for seven dollars seven dollars this is another example if you're going to do this you're probably going to manage between 15 and 25 percent maybe 35 percent but you really love those i would much rather make 60 bucks with a 90 percent probability of success than 71 bucks with a 73 percent probability of success so here on the 10 dollar out of the money strangle just like the straddle it's 15 to 25%. That's it. You're going to get close to the money. You're going to do it. That 20% number keeps ringing up on the first two slides. Now, the next slide, this is the $20 out of the money. Perfect. So this is where we usually are, $20 out of the money. Now, what you see here is really interesting, I thought, because we've been closing them fast. Mm -hmm. And in hindsight, we've been doing it right because you make the most money when you close it at 15 to 20%, and you have the highest probability of success, 94% win rate, which we have experienced. And the lowest exactly. risk in CVAR, too. You have the lowest CVAR, the highest PL, and the highest win percentage, managing at 15%, 20% in there. That's exactly what we've been doing, and it's been working. Now, it's too low today. I mean, it's just no, you felt the entry price was too low. I felt there wasn't enough premium today to make it worthwhile. I'm not gonna shoot for 20% of $2 or 40 cents. I'm not taking that much risk for 40 cents. But 94 Not a player like you. Not a player. 94% probability of success totally makes sense. And that's the record. That's exactly where we've been doing about 19 out of 20 wins, which is 94% probability of success. And that's exactly what we've been seeing. Even the 25% at 86%, that's 17 out of 20. That's a strong, that's a strong recover. That's a strong results. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so managing zero DT winners. Put it on at the opening, take it off 15, 20, 25%, 15 to 20% is better. If you go a little bit narrower, you go, you know, you close quicker. If you go a little bit wider, you can maybe wait a little bit longer. But the reality is they're all the same. Put it on early, take it off early, and take it off for a small profit and move on to the next trade. And you're going to be talking about anywhere between 15 and 19 out of 20 times the winner. So over the past year, managing winners has been vital to the success in selling zero DT options. Unmanaged you know positions. What? It's, it's easy for us to do, but it's harder <clears throat> than it than it appears. I know. It's easy for us because we're we're old scalpers. <laughs> right. It's, right. It's okay. We run like thieves in the night. But a lot of people, when they see this working, especially if they have other positions that are maybe maybe marginal or whatever, they're like, all right, I'm gonna ride this wave. I'm gonna keep this on for a little bit longer. You gotta stay mechanical with this, this yep. stuff. This zero days is the most risk. So unmanaged positions, those looking for too large a portion of their initial credit, have at best broken even. Managing aggressively, on the other hand, made substantial profits and reduced outlier daily risk, especially for the further out-of-the-money options. And that's where that's our wheelhouse. Remember that in order to do this in a buying power required sane matter, you likely need to give up 5 to $15 per day in the long strikes.